in this le uh, video uh, video lecture i'll explain copying and comparing structure variables array of structures and array within structure so let's start with the first topic copying and comparing structure variable so copy operation two variables of same structure can be copied the same way as ordinary variable so what is the meaning of that i have two structure variable person 1 and person 2 so the, the what is the meaning of this statement the value of person 2 is assigned to person 1 and this statement the value of person 1 is assigned to person 2 so this copy operation is same as the ordinary variable copy operation now a uh, comparison operation uh, uh, let's see these two statement person 1 is equal to person 2 person 2 is not equal to person 1 so these two we are comparing these two variable person 1 and person 2 these two statements but this is not permitted in c if i want to compare the structure variable i cannot do it directly for that i should compare the members individually so let's take an example uh, let's take one program so it will be more clear so now uh, this is the structure uh, name of the structure is class and uh, these are three members of the structure number name and marks now these are the three structure variables student 1 student 2 and student 3 and student 1 and 2 we have initialized also and this operation is copy operation student 2 value is assigned to student 3 okay but how the comparison works see this statement what is the meaning of this statement i have used ternary operator here so the meaning is when this expression value is true 1 will be assigned to x and when this expression value is false 0 would be assigned to x so if i want to access the member can i do it directly no i can't so for that what i should do i should use dot operator so variable name dot operator member which i want to access so the first expression student 3 dot number means uh, whatever number is there in student 3 is equal to student 2 dot number so obviously this will be true because in student 3 i have student 2 value only and operator so this is logical and we have used here so when both the expression values are true then only it will return true now uh, this statement student 3 dot marks so student 3 dot marks what is there in marks the marks of student 2 is equal to student 2 dot marks the student 2 marks is 67 so obviously this will also be true so when both the conditions are true here one would be assigned to x next we are checking this condition if x is equal to 1 that is true obviously so this message will be printed student 2 and 3 are same and then we are printing the value as well so student 3 dot number student 3 dot name and student 3 dot marks that value would be printed so see here student 3 we have a number we have 222 because student 2 value is copied to student 3 and uh, in uh, name we have ready and in marks we have 67 so that these three values will be printed if suppose the condition was false so for that else part this message will be printed on the screen okay uh, let's uh, next array of structure so what is array of structure c allows to create an array of variables of structure the array of structure is used to store the large number of similar records for example if i want to store the record of 100 employees then array of structure is used so this is the syntax of declaring array structure array uh, struct keyword followed by name this struct name is nothing but the name of the structure that can be any valid c identifier and these are the members of the structure and this data type can be any data type and this var1 var2 varn these are also valid identifier then uh, this struct struct name obj size what is this this is structure variable this is how we declare the structure variable so again the syntax uh, how to declare the structure variable struct keyword followed by name of the structure and followed by the name of the variable so here it is uh, array of structure so that variable should be of array type so how do we declare array we write the name of the array so here obj with name of the array will come and then in this bracket size what is the size of the array so this is how we declare the array of structure then uh, this is the example uh, these these are the two ways to declare the array of structure 
either I can declare the structure here itself, then no need to write this struct keyword followed by the uh, st structure name and then the variable name. So either I can directly write here itself the uh, variable name or I can do it this way. So in this example, uh, uh, there, uh, this is the structure student and these are the members of the structure. The first one is a, a name that is of character array and this roll number is of integer type and remarks is of character type. This marks is of float type and this st is the variable, structure variable and this is of array type. Okay. So next, uh, this is the example of declaring structure array. This is the program. So here point is the uh, structure name struct keyword followed by name of the structure that is point and these two are the uh, structure members x and y and the data type is int here and see this statement this is the uh, declaration of structure variable so create an array of structure so this is uh, this is of array type because it's a structure array so this variable should be of array type and I want to access the members so obviously I cannot use it uh, I cannot uh, access it directly I should use structure uh, variable dot the member so array 0 dot member x is equal to 10 we have initialized the value here array 0 dot y for y we have initialized the value 20 and the same thing we are printing so whatever value we have initialized here in printf statement we are printing the same thing so output will be 10 and 20 